We can all agree that MLB The Show is starting to get a little boring. The cards they release are not that good, and we keep getting repeats of old cards, new cards, all this stuff. I mean, A-Rod's got like 38 cards, I think. We And like, same with Gaylord Perry. He's got like 12 cards. We need to change. We need some new cards. I went out. I did research of players who need their own flashbacks. So I did that. I made a list, and in this video, I'm going to give it to you. So stick around. If you enjoy it, slap a like, and let's get into it. <laughs> All right, what up, guys? Mighty Goat here. And like I said in the intro, what a sick little intro, right? No, so stupid. But guys, I came up with a list of my own that I believe they need their own prime flashbacks. If you guys don't know how the cards work in MLB The Show, basically, there's like five tiers, I guess. There's the live series, which are players that are currently playing in the league. That's your Steven Strasburgs. That's your Clayton Kershaws. All those people that are actually playing, they have a live series card. Some of those players have prime series cards, which are like the A-Rods the Miguel Cabrera's, like the Troy to the Whiskeys that I named off. And then there's also rookie flashbacks, which are their rookie cards. And then there's legends. And those are people who don't play anymore. There's some people who have died. Uh, you know, that's where you get Mike Schmidt, Ted Williams, all those guys. So basically what I did was I went and did some research on players who are in the game right now who uh, who deserve to have a prime flashback card. I found five that I think deserve to do it, and I'm going to give them to you here. At number one, these aren't in any certain order. They're just how I wrote them down on my notes. But at number one, I have Chris Davis, the 2013 version. He batted 286 with... 53 home runs and he also had 138 RBIs that's a pretty that would be a pretty sick card I'd give it a 93 overall rating and I'd give him a 93 overall rating because I think the car would be just like the prime David Ortiz and he would have a ton of power but that's about it I mean his fielding isn't too good uh, maybe he'll be higher than a 93 since he can play outfield too. I don't know. I think Big Poppy can only play first base or DH, but whatever. I'd give him a 93. A lot of power. At number two, I have the 2013 MVP edition of Andrew McCutcheon. If you didn't know, he won the MVP. He did back in 2013. He batted 317 with 21 home runs and 84 RBIs. And I mean, the numbers aren't crazy, but... I mean, that was a pretty good year for pitching, and he still did pretty good. He won the NL MVP, like I said. I would give him a 95 overall rating. I think that's fair, and uh, that card would be pretty sick. I mean, he's got his live series card, and he's he used to be a diamond card, and now he's a gold. He just kind of had a couple. He had a kind of a rough season, but I think he deserves a prime flash. But he had a solid year. I mean, he was the MVP. Why not give it to him? Why not give it to him, San Diego? At number three, I have the 2013 version, the Cy Young winner, Max Scherzer. He went 21 and three, which is insane, with a 2.9 ERA, and he struck out 240 batters in 214 innings. That's more than one strikeout per inning, which is pretty good. If you can do that, you deserve a prime card. And I don't know why they haven't done that yet. I mean, he's got his rookie card in there, I think. But give him the prime flashback. I give him a 97 overall rating. That card's legit. I mean, if you strike out 240 MOB players in 214 innings and have a 2-9 ERA with a 21-3 and record, you deserve that prime card. Give it to him and give him a 97 overall rating. At number four, I have the 2013 version of Matt Harvey. He he only went 9-5. and five. I mean, his team wasn't that great that year. But he also had a 2.27 ERA and struck out 191 batters in 178 innings. And like I said, if you can strike out more batters than you pitch innings, that's a pretty solid year. And especially if you have a 2.27 ERA. I give him a 95 overall rating. Uh, I probably could be higher, but I'm sure that record would... Uh, come in effect I mean he could have won more games but whatever I give him a 95 overall rating and last but certainly not least I think this guy is the most deserving and not because he's a Red Sox okay I know a lot of people in the comments could be like hey mighty good you only said this because you're a Red Sox fit no chill out all right at number one, or at, the, at number five, I guess, but I think this is the most deserving. It is a two, 2012 version of David Price. He went 20 and five with a 2.56 ERA. He had 205 strikeouts and he won the Cy Young. Like I said, if you win a Cy Young, you deserve a prime card. I mean, Clayton Kershaw's won a couple Cy Youngs, but he's already a 99, so it's kind of hard to make a better card unless they make it like 100 overall, which I don't think they would do. That would be sick, though. Give him 100 overall rating. But, I mean, David Price definitely deserves a prime card. His card right now is 92, I think, or maybe 91. I forget what it is. But he used to be a diamond. Now he's a gold. He didn't have a good year. But, I mean, in 2012, he killed it. He used to be the cover of the 2K baseball games, which I played a lot. 
but give them the prime card San Diego Studios give them that prime card all right guys let's get in this video it's something new I figured I'd spice it up a little bit if you enjoyed it please be sure to slap that like button let's shoot for like 75 likes if we had 75 likes that would be legit and also on the screen you're gonna see a random video be sure to watch that if you haven't already and also if you haven't subscribed hit that circle hit that circle and subscribe helps me out and let you know when I post a new video I hope you enjoyed it guys I'll see you later peace out